Hey guys, it's Ashley, and I'm sorry if my hair looks really messed up. Um, it's a Saturday night, and I'm really lazy on the weekend, so I don't feel like fixing it. And um, also, I want to apologize for not making a video. Well, I made a video, but I never had time to post it. So I'm sorry for not posting a video in about a month now. I've been really busy. Like, I'd make a video, and then... I'd end up having, like, no time to post it. So I'm really sorry. I promise I'll be making and posting more videos much more often. But, um, this video is more of a vlog because I'm talking about several things in one little video. So it's just a random vlog. Um, I'll be showing you guys the new phone that I got. And I'll be showing you guys the eight makeup products that I use every day. And then I'll be showing you guys something else special that I got and I love it. So, um, my new phone, I got the Palm Pixie Plus. I have Verizon, by the way. And I think this phone's only for Verizon. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, here's the back of it. I don't know, it's just kind of cool looking. And this little thing up here is for the flash for when you're taking a picture. And, um, the two speakers are back here. I don't know, I just think that's kind of cool looking. <laughs> oh, and also, Leah set up a little studio. There's a ton of lights and this blanket in the background. But, um, yeah, hang on. Like, when it, like, when the screen goes dark like that, that always happens, so it doesn't waste, like, battery or anything. Like, you hit the power button, which is right here. Hang on. Oops. And then it shows, like, the thing that you have to unlock. You just have that thing that unlock the screen. And that's my little background, that's what it came with. <laughs> and it's a touch screen, like there's no arrow keys or anything, so you have to like move everything around and stuff with the touch screen, which I think is pretty cool, because I like phones like this. This phone kind of reminds me of the iPhone, in the weirdest way, I don't know why. I, I don't know if that's just me, but it does. And I have internet for free, and all this other cool stuff. And this phone was free, um, it was just like a little exclusive offer thing on the Verizon Wireless website. And, yeah, so I got this. Oh, here's the box for it. I don't know why I brought it to Leah's house, but I did anyways. That's what the box looks like. Look at it. It's so weird. So, like, if you're trying to stand it up, it has to be, like, slanted like that. And then you slide this little couple thing off. Yeah, I really have no idea why I brought this with me. Oh. And then, so, um, the top eight makeup products that I use every single day. First, I start out with my foundation, which is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Match SPF 15 Foundation in 853A, which is porcelain. I don't know if I included this foundation in one of my recent hauls. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know. But this is what it looks like. And this stuff works very well. It has good coverage. And I think this is $3.99? Yeah, I think that was the price. Um, at CVS and yes yeah. but um you have to be careful if you're when you store this in your travel makeup bag because the um the bottle the packaging i guess you want to call it is made out of glass so you have to be careful not to drop it obviously unless you want it to break which i'm pretty sure you don't want that to happen and yes that's my foundation and then the second thing i put on oh also for this foundation i don't have a primer so i kind of use this as an eye primer and it actually works pretty well as a primer, so I don't even think I'm going to end up buying a real eye primer. So anyways, um, the second thing that I put on is this Airspun Loose Face Powder. And this is a translucent face powder, so it doesn't matter if it matches your skin tone or not, but this one actually does. It is in muted beige. And this stuff smells so good, like, um... Like, like, back in the day, loose face powder, like, ones from, like, a long, long time ago. Um, I don't know. Back in the day, loose face powders used to always have a really good smell to it. Now it's just blah. But this one smells super good, and it has a little puff in it. Yeah, ooh. That has a lot of face powder on it. Oh, but anyways, um, <laughs> this was actually pretty expensive for face powder, especially since... It was at like a drugstore, usually they're a bit cheaper, but this was $6.99, but I am so glad that I bought this, because it also works really well too. And this is the Extra Coverage Translucent Face Powder. Uh, that's a packaging, it's pretty cute. 
And you have to be careful if you're storing this somewhere, like if you're like carrying it around with you. Oh, laptop went dark. But anyways, um, because the lid comes off easily, um, yeah. I had to learn that the hard way. So, and what I mean by that is I had it in my Vera Bradley bag, and it opened while I was at school. I don't even know why I brought it to school with me. I think it was because I probably forgot to take it out of my bag when I got home from Leah's that weekend. But it opened and kind of went everywhere, but I got it all out. And this is my Vera Bradley bag, by the way. My sister bought one, and then the person at the store was like, Oh, since you bought a Vera Bradley bag, you can get another one for only $25. So she got me one. And it just has all the patterns from for um, all of the Vera Bradley bags, which I think is kind of cool. This is my favorite one right here. It's very pretty. But anyways, um... And then the eyeshadow that I use, I actually got a whole set of color concept stuff for only $4.99. Um, I'll try to bring it next week to Leah's and make a video about it, but yeah. And these are only like two of the sets of the palettes, but I normally use this on my lid, this on my lower lash line, this in my crease. And this for, like, my brow bone. I don't know. I kind of mix it up a little. And, oh. And this one has a little mirror. I don't know if you saw that. I don't even know why I mentioned that. But I did. And then for lipstick, I have this Wet n Wild. Um. What is it called? Wet n Wild. Ultra Sheet. No? Ultra something, I think. <laughs> I don't know. But, um. What? But it's this lipstick. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot what it was called because it doesn't say it anywhere in the packaging. But this is in. This is in just peachy. It's really. Oh oh oh! I know what it's called now. But Wet and Wild Mega Last Lipstick. There we go. It's really pretty. And over this lipstick, because this is more of like a matte color, and I don't really like matte lipsticks. So I don't really. Well, like the lighter colors don't really look that well on me. So I cover it up with the. Sally Hansen um, Moisturizing Wood Balm, I think it's called. I got this at the Dollar Tree, so it was only $1. And this was uh, $1.99, I think, at CVS. And then for an eyeliner, I obviously put on the eyeliner before my eyeshadow. I should have said that before I mentioned the eyeshadow. But this eyeliner um, came with my Color Concept makeup kit thingy. It's just plain black, and it also came with a brown eyeliner, but I gave it to my mom because she needed another brown eyeliner. Because she doesn't use black eyeliner for some reason. She always uses brown, so I just gave it to her. And then I used my... Oh, sorry. Um, I used my Wet n Wild H2O Proof Mascara. I love this mascara. It doesn't clump your lashes or anything. And I don't know how much this is because my sister gave it to me, like, last year. More like last summer, actually, but yeah. Um... And then I use this random LA Colors um, blush in Berry Plum. And clearly I hit pan on that. And that is it. So I'm going to tell you guys about the extremely awesome thing that I got. And it is... That's the bag that it comes in. Hang on. Fushigi! Woo, the Magic Gravity Ball. Um, I'll probably make a video showing you guys what I can do with this so far, but I don't really have time to show you guys it right now, because I don't want to make too long a video, of a video, because then it takes forever to upload on YouTube, and I don't like that. And also, one more thing before I go, my birthday is coming up very, very soon. I don't know how exactly how many days, because I kind of forgot, but it's on November 3rd, and I'll be turning 14. I know that's kind of young for ninth grade. I went to school when I was four, but usually people in my school go to school when they're five, but that's just because my birthday is like right in the beginning of the school year, so um, yeah, my birthday's on November 3rd, so remember that. I'm so excited! So um, yeah, again, I apologize for not posting video for a really long time, and yeah, so comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!